Well, I, I think you're right, and it's a perfect example of that question around the cost of energy and what we're prepared to invest. We decided in our jurisdiction about four years ago that it was going to be important for us to really develop this and invested, I think, one and a half billion dollars in these technologies. And we're now starting to see those three projects come to life in terms of being able to begin to challenge business models on commercial viability. So in Western Canada right now, in terms of using carbon capture and storage for greater industrial production and development, I think we're going to start in the next couple of years to see how that can change the business model. I don't think we're there yet, but it was certainly a case where we weren't seeing industry uh, committed or able to put that, those sorts of dollars in to those projects. And so you are right to say that while they are starting, I think in the next two to three years, you'll start to see them impact business models and input costs with respect to the production of unconventional resources. And from there, I think we then look to whether or not there's the possibility for a more commercial basis. 